Welcome to Animal Comparison. Today we again going to compare the two most common animals. Yes, you are right, we will compare between dog versus cat. Who would win if they both stand against a fight? To get the answer to this question, watch the video up to the end and also get subscribed to our channel. So let's begin. We will compare them on the basics of the various question. First, can a dog defeat a cat? While it may be genetically normal for a dog to try to kill a cat, it's not acceptable in the society we live in today. We love our pets and if anything happens to them, it can be seriously soul-destroying. Cat owners love their cats as much as dog owners love their dogs. There's nothing worse than seeing your adored mascot badly hurt or with injuries from being attacked. It can be as traumatic for the owner as it is for the animal, and so letting your dog try to kill a cat should be avoided at all costs. Some dogs can develop an exaggerated dislike of felines. It can occur because at some time, maybe when they were a pup, they've given chase to a cat which has then turned on them. When cornered or in fear of their lives, cats can be pretty ferocious. They'll spit and lash out and if their claws connect, they can give a dog a nasty scratch. If your dog has experienced something like that, he's going to be very wary and possibly even aggressive towards any cat which crosses his path. If you know your dog has had a conflictive cat moment, and to test them as a result. The best thing to do to try and avoid him attempting to kill one is to keep him as far away from cats as you possibly can. Second, is cat stronger than a dog? A study conducted by researchers at Princeton University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology found that cats are much more efficient than dogs when it comes to drinking water. Dogs smash their tongues into the water's surface with a force up to eight times that of gravity, splashing and causing a mass. But cats delicately dip their tongues into the water with a force up to twice that of gravity, neatly pulling up a column of liquid to swallow. Third, which is smarter cats or dogs? A study carried out by researchers from six universities and published in Frontiers in Neuroanatomy suggests something that dog advocates may claim they already knew, that dogs could be more intelligent. Researchers have found that dogs have around twice the number of neurons in their cerebral cortex as cats. As described in National Geographic, the team used three animal brains to measure the amount of neurons dogs and cats might commonly have. One from a cat, one from a bigger dog, and one from a smaller dog. Two different types of dogs were used due to the canine's differing size. The researchers found around 500 million neurons in the cortex of both dogs regardless of their size difference, which doubled the 250 million neurons found in the cat's cortex. Fourth, can dogs kill cats? All dogs have an instinct to hunt prey. If your dog chases balls and shakes toys, that's a sign of that instinct. They might kill a cat because they got carried away by that instinct or were protecting their food or territory. Not because they are evil. However, a dog that chases down an animal and kills it is more likely to do it again. And that aggression can escalate. Fifth, why are dogs so afraid of cats? Dogs have an instinct to chase smaller animals that flee an instinct common among cats. Most cats flee from a dog, while others take actions such as hissing, arching their backs and swiping at the dog. After being scratched by a cat, some dogs can become fearful of cats. If appropriately socialized, cats and dogs may have relationships that are not antagonistic. And dogs raised with cats may prefer the presence of cats to other dogs. Even cats and dogs in the same household that have historically had positive interactions may revert to aggressive reactions due to external stimuli illness, or play that escalates and could eventually be harmful. Sixth, can cats kill a person? Yes, they can although the bigger, stronger, more agile you are the less likely it is that they'll have time to inflict a lot of physical damage. But even a ratty feral cat can assault you like a young tiger, and swipe sizable cuts across you. When my cats were tiny kittens they had razor sharp claws at seven weeks old the female kitten drew blood during playing and left me with a small but permanent scar on my forearm. If a cat were to launch itself at your head you'd know about it. Or as I experienced two years ago when puss accidentally stepped onto your eye as I was waking. It's more likely a nasty infection caused by them breaking skin would be the cause of death if left untreated by antibiotics. Which would only likely happen if you live in a remote location. Cats range considerably in size and strength from a foot long puss to half a sheep. Domestic pusses aren't likely to bite you, but wild cats are another story if they decide to have a go. You only need to see videos showing cats standing up to alligators to know that cute kitties are born with a pair of steel balls, bleeding to death from multiple razor blades wounds before getting help. 
possibly combined with injuries you might incur in trying to get away from a tiger are probably the most likely of unlikely but possible causes of death by cat. Now let's come to the conclusion that who would win between these two species. Unfortunately, this does not mean that a cat will win fights against a dog. Most of the time, cats will fight only under duress, to escape injury and only if they have no choice. If you are looking to decide who wins these struggles regularly, consider the dog to have more advantages due to its size and innate physical power. Hope this video is being informative for you. If you like it then hit a like and subscribe to our channel. Meet you soon with another amazing video. Goodbye.